Welcome back. In this next video, we are going to put on some common tags. And as you know from the slideshow, let me jump over to it. These common tags help you to organize your website. So we're going to add the H1 tag, some H3 tags. We are going to add some P tags and some EM and some strong tags. So we'll do that all in this video. Actually, what I think I'd like to do is show you how to view this web page in a browser. I'm going to go to the index and I'm going to right click on it and choose open with live server. If you right click on yours and you do not see this option, that would mean that you have not yet installed the extensions that I asked you to install. Go back to the technology folder that I showed you at the very beginning of class and install your extensions. So when I choose open with live server, it opens my web page on the internet. So this is what I have so far. I'm going to push this over to the side and then push this over to the side so that you can have these two windows side by side. I advise that you work in this way too. It kind of crunches up your code, it's true, but you can get a little more real estate by closing this navigation pane. I can close it this way. If I click again, that will open it again. So I will add the H1 tag, H1. And then what you'll notice is if I save, my whole page is in the H1 format. That's not what I want. I want to close my tag after this line and then do another save. And now it's just my headline that is the H1. I would like my numbered items to be smaller than the H1. So I'm going to make them H3. And I'll do an H3 for each of these. And I want you to notice that I close my tag. I close the H3 tag before I move on to the next one. It's a really good habit to develop of shutting the door, right? Closing the tags right after you start them. It just takes a little bit of patience. And here's number five. And let's look at what that looks like. It, once you do a save, it'll automatically change on your live server. The next thing I'm going to do is put some P tags for each of these underneath. It's going to make it not look that different because you can see I've saved it. It doesn't look very different because the H tags, H1 and H3, all of the heading tags, have included in them a manual line return. So let me add my P tags. And the last one. And then I will add an italic tag. Do you remember that? That's the EM tag. I want each of the terms to be in italics. Again, notice if I put my start tag and I don't end it, then everything after that start tag is italics. So you do have to be thoughtful and remember to end your tags. Oops. And the last one. Save. And now just my terms. Let's tag up page two. I'll open the navigation for Visual Studio Code. Jump over to the next page. 
close that navigation pane and I'll do the same thing here. I'll put the H1 tag and then the H3 tags and the P tags. Now you'll notice at the end of some paragraphs there's a description of an image. That's going to be our next video. In the meantime, I'll get all the P tags in here that I should have and all the H3 tags that I should have and I will meet you in the next video. Sound good? See you soon.